Hello everybody and good evening. Before we start today's discussion, I would quickly attempt to explain the context of uh, SCST sub plan. As we may all know, the Constitution of India has three main sections: fundamental rights, directive principles of state policy, and duties. Although unlike fundamental rights, directive principles of state policy cannot be enforced in a court of law, they are the essence of the Constitution. They are the instruments of instructions acting as a check on the state power and stress the duty of the state to promote welfare through socio-economic and political justice. Particularly, Article 46 of this directive principles mandates the state to take up educational and economic interests of SCST and protect them from exploitation. This Article 46 is the basis for the SCST subplan, which is our topic today. Under this plan, it is the duty of the state to earmark funds and oversee implementation from the annual plan of the states and union territories in proportion to the SC population exclusively for welfare without any diversion. However, for the past four decades, the expenditure under this sub plan has been dismal. A 2016 India Spends report says that the unspent amount stands at 2.8 lakh crore, which was eight times that year's agriculture budget. Our speaker, Dr. Kristodas Gandhi, IS former additional chief secretary, Tamil Nadu, calls this lapse and misappropriation and offense and not just financial impropriety. Let us welcome Dr. Kristodas Gandhi and learn from his 35 years of work and experience as a bureaucrat on how the proper subplan implementation will ensure bridging the socio-economic gap for inclusive development and is as important as in affirmative action or prevention of atrocity acts. Uh, I would like to invite our guest speaker to take over from here. Thank you. So thank you all for inviting me with the Zoom. It's a, a great opportunity to interact with you people there. And uh, it's a very uh, timely session also. Um, in order to make it very interactive, I have already sent lots of tidbits to you people in the uh, in the in the WhatsApp. So you would have had the uh, background of the uh, Shulka sub plan. I am not going into the detail of the history of the Shulka sub plan, how it has grown and all that. All that I can say is that Shulka sub plan is a gorgeous scheme, uh, but made grotesque by the implementers. Why gorgeous? Because it's, uh, it's uh, um, I, I can't think of any parallel scheme in any, in any other part of the world um, where uh, so much money is devoted to um, targeted people. It's a, it's a very, the content of the scheme, the objective of the scheme is so fine. Uh, nobody can uh, uh, question that. But then, all these years, since 1981, when it was introduced, the uh, implementers, basically the administrators, basically the uh, people in the finance department, and uh, as well as uh, the people who are managing SCSTFL, who are mostly SCS, like uh, the secretaries of the departments and the, and the directors of the departments. They are mostly um, our people in many, several states. That has been the case in Tamil Nadu. Um, they lack a vision. They lack a vision and uh, um, a spirit to pursue. The other uh, um, administrators are very apathetic to it. Um, more than exploring the possibilities of using this budget for the growth of ACs, they always think in the line of uh, bridging it or. Uh, or limiting it to save their so-called uh, overall budget. Um, but in any, anyhow, in spite of all these uh, impediments, uh, lots of funds are flowing, no doubt about that. In several states, um, the fund flow is, uh, is more than the proportionate allocation. The only government of India has not reached the targeted proportion. Um, I have uh, given you uh, a kind of a time series of Tamil Nadu where the fund allegation in 1991 uh, and all that, 96, it started uh, with around only 200 crores per annum in Tamil Nadu. But now 
in 2023-24. Now we have um, 17,000 crops. Um, what I would request uh, people like you is um, more than uh, more than uh, um, uh, more than uh, indulging in narratives in public and amongst us. I would like a team to be set up so that uh, you interact directly with the powers that be, because we need uh, people. We need uh, these uh, voices to be recorded only in the power card rather than in the streets or amongst ourselves. I find that all these years, last 20 years, since we started the campaign in 1997, most of the dialogue is uh, in the public fora, but not with the people who are directly concerned with the implementation of the scheme. So therefore, um, there are very few people who do this, like uh, we people in Tamil Nadu, we have uh, Social Watch, which is uh, run by Father Kumar. So we have been interacting uh, for the last about 25 years. We were the first to expose this uh, essence of uh, Shailuka sub plan in 1997. Unfortunately, it caught up all over India. And the NCDHR in Delhi, uh, which was led by Pal Divaka, then they took it at the national level. They are operating in about six states in the northern, uh, in, in, the, in the north India, and they also look after the government of India budget. So we have complete data about <coughs> the Shilga Supplant budgets, how much of fund is flowing to which sector, and how much of it is, uh, um, how much of it is uh, so-called uh, indivisible schemes, and how much of it is purely divisible scheme, which where the benefit is flowing directly to the um, to the uh, to the the beneficiary group whom uh, we call Sandros, ACs or Sandros, we call it. So therefore, um, we have been in dialogue for the last 20, 20, uh, 20 nearly 30, 30 years on how to improve the quality of the Shilka sub plan uh, schemes that uh, we have been indulging in the in the, in the, in the uh, narratives about divisible schemes, indivisible schemes, uh, so many things. Of course, we have succeeded in most of it. The first success was in getting the governments give up a due share. So most of the states are doing it now. Uh, this is one great victory, which, uh, which, uh, which started uh, occurring since about 2006. Before that, there was not even accounting of this money in the budget books. Well, since about uh, 2006 or so, um, even the government of India have started uh, um, uh, incorporating the details in the budget books. So we can uh, find all these uh, details uh, in, in, in portals. Uh, there's no problem. Before that, if you want to, if you want to find out uh, what is happening, then you have to go to uh, the every line of the budget, find out uh, where the uh, fund is allocated for the so-called ACSTs, and that was a that was a very huge task. Now they give uh, annexures. Al almost all states, um, state budgets as well as the government of India budget will have an exclusive chapter on this, so that we can uh, make a uh, thorough study of it. All that is happening now is uh, lots of money is flowing, but all the most of this money, almost um, almost uh, ninety percent of the money is flowing for so-called general schemes. General schemes are popular schemes for everyone, where the government says they are giving their share due to SESTs according to the percentage of the population in respective states. So that is what is happening. But what is not happening is how to make use of this fund for exclusive growth of uh, Sandor's our own people. There is no, um, there is no devoted, uh, dedicated planning for a schedule cost as such. So um, uh, you will find most of these schemes are, of course, uh, relate to food safeties and. Uh, the old age uh, safety, the uh, um, the poverty alleviations, and providing basic uh, infrastructure, 
and these are the general schemes, common schemes everywhere. So even if uh, we don't have an exclusive allocation, obviously uh, the money that uh, has to flow to uh, the ACs and ACs will uh, flow automatically. Now the government is the, the the finance wizards are taking advantage of this, and they are saying that they are uh, doing a lot to ACs by just showing by showing uh, desk calculations of these monies. And that is how in Tamil Nadu, 17,000 crores of money is accounted for. The very few schemes are exclusive schemes like post-metric scholarship, where about, um, where about from the state fund, uh, we now have about 600, 700, 800 crores. Uh, but the total commitment of government of India and uh, Tamil Nadu will be about 1,500 to 1,800 crores. The uh, overseas uh, scholarship scheme, which is about uh, the, about ten crores, then startup schemes, a new scheme which started two years back, is about fifty crores, and the entrepreneurial scheme, Anna Lambedkar, Tolil Munno Ditham, which is a good scheme introduced uh, uh, this year. The government has allotted uh, hundred crores, and uh, unlike uh, the usual pattern. Uh, this money is almost getting exhausted before the financial year and the Department of Industries have already asked for additional uh, fund of about 40 crores where uh, it's a very uh, <clears throat> it's a very happy change because this is the first time the government of uh, the governments have opened uh, um, opened their budgets for entrepreneurial ventures of uh, SESTs. I would uh, appeal to all um, the foreign-based people like you to make use of the scheme and uh, um, uh, bring an investment. It's a good scheme. Thirty-five percent is the is the, is the, is the margin ma margin money they give. Um, not margin money. What do you call that? Uh, 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 that is a maniam subsidy. Subsidy. Thirty-five percent is the subsidy, and the interest component is only six percent. So. Um, so the, this is uh, basically uh, the introduction I would like to give. I I wouldn't like our people to make only critical comments of what's happening under the uh, budget, uh, because um, having been in the government for thirty five years, I know well that uh, the governments and the administrators they don't uh, they they don't um, um, they they, uh, they don't normally accept uh, criticisms. But then, uh, if you are making uh, proposals to them, um, uh, most of it will come through. So instead of uh, um, instead of analyzing analyzing the the, the what should I say the uh, the the the, the um, uh, analyzing uh, the fund flow, whether it has reached, uh, whether there is unspent money and all that, I find that there is nothing very um, the very peculiar that is happening to Shilka Supplan alone. Unspent balance, every unspent balance or diversion of money, this is a common thing that happens to any sector everywhere. So if the government wants to put put in the money uh, in A, they will take money from B sector, no problems about that. There is a, there is nothing uh, there's unnatural about that. Of course, from our point of view, we'll be saying that our money is being taken away for other purposes. So anyway, um, instead of uh, um, uh, doing this, let us propose new schemes every year. Um, when I say this, when, when, uh, when I say that 17,000 crore uh, is, the, uh, is, is the allocation and some crores in government of India, we can't be saying that uh, none of this money is uh, flowing to SCs, though they are general schemes. Though they are like, for example, a widow's pension scheme. Of course, the uh, SCs will be uh, getting uh, um, uh, benefited. Uh, we can't be. We need not be doubting about this. Um, for example, a ration. A ration reaches uh, SCs. We can't. We we don't. We can't be saying that uh, the. The, the Shilka subplan money is being diverted for uh, a general scheme as such. Of course, theoretically, we may 
uh, it may hold good, but then in 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 reality, the flow of money, uh, re the the money reaches the SCs. No doubt about that. So therefore, all our effort should be in getting uh, new schemes, which will be uh, directed towards SCSTs and. Um, I personally don't believe in the so-called uh, bridging the gaps between us and somebody else. Uh, this is a very, um, uh, um, uh, this will uh, um, uh, dime us. So why should we be only equal to somebody and not surpass others? Our approach should be in such a way that we introduce schemes whereby we can win over others, we can go over others. Um, this is very, when we say this, the others will feel very shuddered. How, how, how dare you say this? But this is what we have to um, aim. And bridging the gap is a very elusive thing. Because uh, when we say this, they will be only talking of uh, uh, the poverty gaps, um, this and the, the gaps in housing, the gaps in providing drinking water, all these uh, fundamental things. But they won't be uh, talking of the gap in um, entrepreneurship. How much of uh, big business is by, uh, being run by us and how much of big business business is being run by us is therefore bridge the gap. They will never do that. They will never do, do that. Therefore, we have not been having any uh, industrial scheme till now. Only even now there is no scheme exclusively for SCs for starting a big industry. Um, it will fall under only the um, MSc types, not on the uh, major industry side. So, um, um, uh, uh, but this is what we have to attempt. That is why in banking sector, we don't have any exclusive schemes for ACs. Though the governments are uh, providing schemes for ACs, no banking scheme is available for AC, STs as such. They will be available for uh, uh, for, for uh, below poverty line people, uh, women, and all types of uh, categorization. But then the bank funding is not available for a focused group of the Sandros and Nantros, that is ACs and ACs. So we have to try these new schemes. All that I am saying is, for, for example, in Tamil Nadu, out of the 17,000 crores, if we can try for about 500 to 1,000 crores of new schemes every year, in five years, we will be getting about 5,000 crores. Whereas now, um, uh, now, the fund flow for exclusive schemes is not that much. It's very minimal. As I told you, the postmetric scholarship will be for the about 800 crores. And then the entrepreneurial scheme will be about uh, um, uh, 100 crores. And sundries will be about 100 crores. And uh, um, some about 3,000 crores, which is the budget of the SCST department, which, uh, which is mostly spent on the schools run exclusively for SCS, schools and the hostels run exclusively for SCSTs. This is the money which we can uh, trace as a direct flow for SCSTs. Let us get more money. But in this only, I am saying that these administrators will not take the initiative. I have not seen any, any individual other than the uh, author of this uh, scheme. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mr. Krishnan. Uh, Krishnan, though he is a non -AC, um, we, we we knew him for a long time. He passed away only about 10 years back. All his life, he has been devoting himself to SCST welfare. Only though he was not, a, he was he was instrumental in conceiving this scheme as well as the um, the, the, the Prevention of Atrocities Act. So, accepting uh, scattered people like that, I don't see any uh, initiative coming from any administrator. Um, to design a new scheme. Therefore, let us propose year after year new schemes. Uh, Tamil Nadu, we tried and uh, we succeeded to some little extent. 
uh, we can do it at the all india level and in different states also instead of uh, fighting with that uh, government of india where i find the reserve the, reserve, uh, the the receptiveness of the government of india officials will be very 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 uh, apathetic but uh, states we can win over uh, especially the major states like uh, major states for tamil nadu for sandros that is ac tamil nadu kerala andhra telangana karnataka maharashtra these are the states where we can uh, uh, win over the states if we take up the we take we take up the initiative we can make the governments to come down um i don't see the this uh, this uh, smooth uh, possibility in uh, in uh, in northern states like uh, up mp where the ac population is more punjab it is possible haryana also it's possible so i i can't think of this happening in west bengal too west bengal has a uh, has a very high uh, ac population of 35 per, 32 35% i think but still i don't see uh, <coughs> exclusive uh, planning or thoughts for uh, acsts in that state um, they will always uh, pitch upon uh, um, uh, pitch upon uh, um, uh, uh, going common the uh, kerala has been doing this and uh, and as as communist states kerala has been doing this and west bengal has been doing this for long years uh, some of in kerala Uh, ACSTs have been gaining, but not so much in uh, in West Bengal. So, therefore, uh, this is my uh, small submission today. And now, uh, uh, let us think of new schemes. Um, uh, and we have to keep proposing ideas, new ideas. It can be anything, and we we should go out of the uh, um, out of the framework and think. and not we should not be re, we should not be repeating ongoing schemes we have to conceive of things which is which are not happening as of now so that is the new concept that i am talking of so you people can also help on this and uh, and uh, we can of course be interacting with uh, each of us but we should uh, um, we sh we should touch the uh, the heart soul and the mind of the uh, power people in the power card that is where i find there is a huge lack now um whatever is uh, being 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 talked about in the public whatever even comes out in the media uh, does not reach um the administrator ears or their eyes um, they will simply uh, they simply pass over these uh, um, um uh, these observations in the in the, in, the, in the open so therefore let us have more direct access through through forums not through individuals so with this i will uh, stop here i would uh, like uh, people's comments here and uh, if there is anything more um, that i can uh, that i can enlighten on your queries i will be uh, very happy to do that And thank you for this opportunity